welcome back to a new video like two three days back i asked in my stories uh let's do a question answer video so welcome to the question answer video i've chosen like 13 questions uh, 14 out of all uh, so there were many comments or many questions that were not appropriate to take here so i didn't took them uh, so i will try to keep this video short and let's start uh, the very first question that I expected was who do you think you are uh, so I'm just a, an irrelevant person who have his own theory his own perspective I think that's also I get most of the question from the new people who uh, read my bio because I've just written I have my own theory of life so many people ask me what does it mean <laughs> uh, yeah <laughs> So the next was why do your plants have a funny name um, so actually those names are not funny um, so due to my living condition I cannot have a pet so I had some plants and while keeping the name for them plants I thought okay let's give them a different name so I don't know I was just sitting around and I the first name that came across and I gave to my very first plant that was Cleopatra so uh, because Cleopatra was the queen so since then I try to name my plants under the name of queens from a history like as Frodita then Helga Cora if you search they all are the names of the queens from the past yeah uh, so which book uh, I am currently reading so at this time I'm reading three books uh, first one is a German book about the history of Germany the second one is things no one can teach us so I'm reading it like third time it's written by humble the poet and the third book is a poem book and it is also very old like from 1920 and also German poem book the next question was what inspires you the most uh, so most of the time uh, when I look back from where I started from where I come I think that the work has an inspiration for me and it also keeps me pushing to do more and more and at the end of the day it's more about giving back to the society and that's what inspired me to reach at a point where I can give back to the society in whatever way I can um, why have you stopped posting on photography account yes uh, if you follow there like I have stopped posting pictures because uh, since I think last year or before that uh, we have new privacy rule in uh, Europe and uh, specifically in Germany so now we are not allowed to take a picture of a person on a street so like I like street photography not architecture photography so unless there is a group you cannot photo take a photo of any individual uh, you have to take a permission from them so in that case it's always a, a problem for me uh, because even if when I'm taking the architectural photography I've been questioned by the people if I've taken their photos uh, although many of my colleagues who are local photographers they never get asked but anyhow that's uh, that's how it is <laughs> uh, but maybe I'll find a new way I'm just thinking uh, what to do with that account uh, at this moment uh, it's just like a break okay so the next one is uh, who is going to win Punjab election um, I'm not here for any prediction but uh, I would love to quote one thing that I heard in an interview in the last week of some person so he said in these election it's more about the political parties for their yeah. so it's for the political parties for their existence so they are fighting this election for their existence and Punjab have not much to get from this election and I think somewhere uh, that person is right um, it's a very good interview of that person um, okay so the next question is my real name and the age uh, I think if you go really down to my old post somewhere you can find my real name and age uh, one thing I can say to my age there are many people on my Instagram who get who say that who because of my beard I would say who guess that I'm 30 years old or older than 30 years uh, 
you all are wrong. <laughs> um, I think maybe also you can find my age if you scroll down, you will find it in some of post there is. Um, okay, so these next two questions were expected. That's a very typical questions at this age you get if you are from India. Uh, so first one is uh, when are you getting married? Um, so anyhow, Mitty Pao, um, I don't know. So the next one also expected question if I'm single. Um, I think maybe I can, uh, you can, I have a counter question to this. I think if you get answer to my question, you will be getting answer to your question. So it's more like the people normally ask to have someone in life who is loyal, respectful and care for them. And when they get someone, then they say, no, that's too much. These are the things, not what I expected. Why is it like this? I think if you answer this, you'll get your answer. Um, yeah, the next question, what does that word love means for me? Uh, it's a very, like, it's for this question, I can give a very vast, long answer because this word had different definitions depending on the perspective of a person. Uh, but I'll just, uh, maybe in some next video, but for this video, I will just quote something that I heard uh, from Osho. Um, I've written here. So he said, our love is always addressed for somebody. And the moment you address your love, you destroy it because love is actually a quality that we all have wherever we are with whom we are our love should overflow so he says it's not a question about being in love with someone it's a question of being loved it's a very deep a very simple but also very deep sentence so as i said i'll talk about it in some other video otherwise this video can go long uh next one is how do you choose your daily clothes color palettes i just wear what i feel comfortable in i never choose my color palettes um next one is is your culture and religion important to you um as i said in a very first question i have a very different perspective when it goes about religion or about culture um about which maybe I think uh, I should make one small video in the coming weeks uh, and I will sure make it but about culture I can say one thing what I think that culture changes with the generation you cannot uh, take the same culture in every generation I mean you can take a part of the culture from your older generation and add it something from your generation and give it further but you cannot take everything then there will be an identity crisis that's what i think uh, as i said in the deep i will talk in the next video or uh, in the upcoming weeks so those were like small questions that i thought are important and i should answer them and in upcoming weeks i will be posting more videos till then if you have any question left just write in the comments till then stay safe and peace Wo soll ich jetzt haben, wenn wir das geschafft?